Let's talk about uh, how to analyze pooled data in the R software. I will also introduce an uh, analytical model called the uh, difference in difference estimation to everyone. Put the data refer to the data sets you collect from the same population at a different time. I recorded a video to show everyone the definition of put data. I listed that video down below. You can watch that video to know more details about the key features of put the data. Here I want to use an example to show everyone how to analyze put the data in the R software. I want to test my hypothesis. If there is a decline in the number of kids women have during the year of 1972, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, and 84. So I collect the data about how many kids each woman has during these years. When I combine data records from different years into one data set, I want to create the dummy variables for the time spots, as you can see on this slide. If the data record was collected in 1974, when I record this record, I will give value 1 to the dummy variable Y74. If the data record was not from 1974, it was from other years, I will give a value 0 to the dummy variable y74. Same thing to other years. If a data record was collected in 1976, I will give a value 1 to the dummy variable y76. Otherwise, I will give a value 0 to the dummy variable y76. This is how you form a pooled data set. These dummy variables also play an important role when we analyze a pooled data set. As you can see on this slide, in the R code, I basically use the dummy variables as independent variables to analyze the dependent variable. This also shows everyone how you should analyze pooled data. Basically, you create the dummy variables for different time spots and then use those time dummy variables as independent to analyze the dependent variable. One point I want to mention is some classmates may have a question about 1972. Why we don't create a dummy variable for 1972? Because we treat data records from 1972 as the base category. You don't have to create a dummy variable for base category. In the future, if you have a pooled data set, you must choose data records from one year as base category as well. And then you don't have to create a dummy variable for the base category. This is something I want you to pay attention to. By the way, I already listed the R code down below, and I made notations next to each line of codes. They are pretty easy to understand, so you can download onto your computer. I will not repeat the R code in this video. Let's just take a look at the R analysis result. Here we have the estimate for the intercept. It's a 3.02. It's about 3. What does this mean? Since we choose 1972 as the base category, this means in 1972, averagely, each woman had about three kids. Then let's take a look at the time dummy variables. Only two are significant, YA2 and YA4. And the estimate for these two dummy variables are negative. Let's talk about them. Let's look at the estimate for YA2. It's a negative. 0.62. What does this mean? This means in 1982, each woman has a 0.62 fewer kids than a woman in 1972. This doesn't sound practical, right? That's why we want to change the conclusion a little bit. We want to see that 
every 100 women in 1982 have uh, 62 fewer children compared to every 100 women in 1972. Can you interpret the estimates for the variable y84? It's negative 0.788. Let's round the number to negative 0.79. What does this negative 0.79 represent? It indicates that every 100 women in 1984 have 79 fewer children than every 100 women in 1972. A big decline during the years, right? This is how you interpret the results from a pooled data analysis. Let's see another example. I want to test if a waste treatment facility will lower the house prices nearby. You see, some people believe that if your house is close to a waste treatment facility, the house price will be lower than the houses that are far away from the facility. But uh, this is just uh, some people's belief hypothesis, right? We have to use data to validate this hypothesis. This is what I did. I collected the house price data between 1978 and 1981. Because I collected data at two different time spots, this data set is a pooled data set. Notice that in 1978, the waste treatment facility was just a plant. It was not built up yet. The construction was finally completed in 1981, and the facility began to operate in 81. Some people say, oh, this is simple. Let me do this. Since the facility began to operate in 81, I will just look at the house prices of 81. I will create a dummy variable near ink to indicate if a house is close to the facility in 81 or not. Then I can show the influence of the facility on the house prices nearby, right? Is this a correct analysis? I would say no. Let me give you some time to think about why this analysis is incorrect. This is incorrect because the analysts forget about one thing. In 1978, before the facility was built, there were already price differences among houses. Some houses had lower prices because they were located in bad neighborhoods. And those bad neighborhoods happened to be the planned zone for the treatment facility. That's why when you analyze the influence of the facility, you have to consider the price difference that already happened before the facility was built. For this case, we create two price difference variables. One is for the price difference of 78 before the facility was built. Another one is the price difference of 81 after the facility was built. This is how you analyze the real influence of the facility on the house prices nearby. In the R software, we basically create three dummy variables. One is uh, Y81. This variable indicates this is a pooled data set, just like what we learned in the first example. The second dummy variable is uh, near ink. This dummy variable indicates if a house is close to the planned zone for the facility in 78. By doing this, we can indicate the price differences of 78. Then we create the third dummy variable, Y81 near ink. This dummy variable is to indicate if a house is really close to the facility after the facility began to operate. This is how we indicate the price difference of 81. As you can see, we have two price difference variables in this case. 
One is the price difference before the facility was built, and another one is the price difference after the facility was built. We call this analysis difference in difference estimation. This is a special case of the pooled data analysis. We frequently use difference in difference estimation to analyze the dependent variables if something new happened, a new government policy, a new drug development, and so on. If you take a look at the R analysis result, although the estimate of variable Y81 near ink is negative, it's actually not significant. Then we can make a conclusion. Just being close to a waste treatment facility, this factor alone doesn't decrease a house price. This is how we perform the difference in difference estimation.